Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Colin and today we are going to be playing Don't Starve, which is a great game, um, kind of an indie game by uh, Klee or Clay-I or something entertainment, K-L-E-I. Um, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's really nice because they update it like every 22 days or whatever this adds up to. Um, you can see right here the last build was four days ago. And the next update was in 18 days. And the last build pretty much completely changed the game. I haven't played it in a little while. Um, I started playing this game because I saw Etho of Etho's Lab uh, play it. And I think it's the only other game I've ever seen him play. But I don't, I'm not a religious watcher or anything like that. Uh, but anyways, it's really fun. Uh, if you kind of like the survival... Um, aspects of Minecraft, if you're coming from that kind of perspective, I think you'll really like the game. Uh, one of the best things about it, in my mind, is that it's there's so much to discover. You know, I haven't really looked at the Wikipedia very much for this. I have played it a little bit in the past, although a lot of stuff has changed. Um, and so I just like to kind of figure it out as I go along, even though a lot of it seems to be uh, just not intuitive for me. Um, so I'm not the best player of this game. But uh, we're going to give it a shot anyway, so I hope you, uh, I hope you do enjoy. One quick note uh, before I start this new game. Uh, I have a terrible microphone, which I'm sure you can tell on the receiving end of this. Uh, what I've tried to do is uh, turn down Don't Starve quite a bit so that once this gets rendered, y you'll be able to turn up your volume a little bit and hear me and hear the game, hopefully. I mean, that's the idea, right? Uh, I've got a crappy Logitech microphone and apparently there was a manufacturing error with a batch of like a billion of these things and so they're all they're all bad and anyways without further ado let's get this game going so what you do here this is all new to me too but I have I did play a few hours yesterday uh, just to kind of prep uh, you can pick a character and I believe at the beginning I could be wrong about this I think either Wilson um, or Willow here are the first two characters you can select from. And basically, as you play the game, and as you survive longer and longer, even if you die uh, in the end, you kind of get some sort of level experience or, or skill points or something like that. And you unlock more characters to play. Um, and so I've actually done that now. I didn't notice I had so many. Um, we've got a few guys here. I, I've played with... Um, Willow here, and it she's kind of, I don't know, strange, hard to hard to play with, and I'm not the best player, so I'm going to give this guy a shot. I've never played with him before. Um, he, he's got higher health, a bigger stomach, which you got to feed yourself in this game. It's one of the things, don't starve, right? And he hits harder, so that's going to help me out a lot in surviving, because I don't want to make a let's play that I die suddenly, um, you know right in the middle of it, and uh, of course that could still happen, it's the nature of the game. Uh, but also, just to show you, uh, they've added in all these different um, options for modifying the world that you'll create, uh, and this is all going to make much more sense once I actually start the game, which I, I should probably just get to. But anyways, uh, you know, you can... You can do all sorts of different things, you know, make it only nights and change the level of food and change the way that the land branches and gets bigger and whatnot. We're just going to go with the default one for right now. Um, and that's it. So let's start. It's going to build us a, uh, a new world here. And I always like, I think all the developers are on this trend. They, they tend to take away the, the true loading message. And they just uh, kind of insert, you know, ridiculous things to have done, which I, I find that to be a, a nice little addition. Cheeky. All right. Should be pretty close here. Okay. Say, pal, you don't look so good. Yes, yes. So I've got to find something to eat. Um, so this is how it starts out. This is it. Uh, you'll see up here, I can't waste too much time, but uh, I've got a, a stomach, so that's my hunger meter. I've got health, which uh, only goes down if you eat something bad or if you get hit by somebody, but the hunger goes down pretty much constantly and the more you work. And then this is a new feature for me, uh, it's sanity. 
So I guess the idea is that you are out in this world, uh, you've just kind of landed here, and being here and trying to survive kind of picks at your sanity. So you've got to do a few things to um, um, stem the outflow of your sanity at certain times, and, and we'll get to that later. But for right now, the name of the game in the beginning is just walk around and pick up everything you see, pretty much. So we're going to do that for a few minutes. Uh, you'll see I've gotten so far some berries, which I'll be able to... Uh, I can eat them outright, or I can cook them. I've also got a couple carrots and a red cap. I believe if I eat this, it actually hurts me a little bit. I've got to cook it somehow or prepare it. I've also got twigs and flint, and those are the two most important resources for your uh, uh, making your tools. So there's a rabbit, which they change the AI a little bit on the rabbits. They just run away from you. Um, and so I don't really know how to kill a rabbit right now unless you just catch it at the right moment. Uh, but I don't have anything to kill it with anyways right now. So we're just going to keep picking grass and getting some flints and getting some twigs. And here in a second, before the, the night actually falls, we'll chop down a couple trees so we can make a fire. Um, and I'll show you what happens if you don't make a fire when night falls. Um, pretty much if, if you don't have light, if you don't have any kind of light source and true nighttime falls, you'll see the dark blue up here on the, um, on the map in the top right hand corner, not the map, but the, the clock. Um, if true night falls, there's this thing, I can't remember the name of it, it starts with a G, uh, that basically kills you. Um, so I've, I've had some, it's a really panicky moment when you suddenly realize that you've been doing something and night truly falls and then you can't actually find your way back to your campfire. Even if you're right next to it, you can't mouse over it to put a log on it or anything like that. So you definitely got to be prepared for when night comes. All right. So this is going pretty well. Uh, I've got a few things. I probably want some more food. Uh, I mean, I've got enough for the night, but basically I, I don't really know a strategy, a winning strategy. I think I've survived to day 15, maybe. That might be the farthest I've gotten. Um, but what I'm going to do for this one, uh, and it seems to work out, the, the level generation, the world generation, is a little different than what I'm used to. So what I'm going to do is survive a couple days, you know, get some food, and basically just travel and start to unshroud the map a little bit and find out, you know, where the rocks are, where some of the special things are, um, and just see what we can find and see if we can find a good area where I want to say, hey, I'm going to put down a more permanent base here. Um, and then we'll hopefully be getting into the real survival of the thing. But I, I, I did play, like I said, I played a little bit yesterday, went down into a cave and, uh, and died immediately. Um, it was really cool. Um, but uh, I got ambushed by a bunch of spiders and lost everything, and I was on day six or seven. And that's the end. You know, that's that's it. Uh, that character's dead. You basically got to back out and start a new world uh, with a new character. And that's life, as they say. Okay, so I'm already talking too much, and... Um, not doing some of the stuff I should do. So you'll see over here on the left, we've got this bar. This is kind of our crafting bar. Um, and we'll fill it out a little bit more. You see all the gaps and all the unlocks um, as we progress. First two things, though, that you can make as tools are a pickaxe and the axe. So I've got to chop down a couple trees. And I, I don't know, there's something about the um, the 2D sprite engine um, mixed with like kind of the isometric 3D with its kind of cartoony look. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a good look to the game. I really do like it. Okay. And you can see if you look down at the, the bottom bar, you'll see the axe slowly going down. Um, in 
durability with each uh, each swing. Ooh, I almost couldn't say that one. And you'll, if you look over on the right, you'll see my hunger's gone down uh, somewhat substantially, and the sanity meter is going down a little bit. So I believe that's because it's nighttime, um, or it's dusk at the very least. And a little bit of lag. I apologize. Apologize. Not really sure why that's happening. Actually, I'm I'm in an incredible lag point right now. Uh, there we go. And we're back. Okay. Okay, you see up there at the top left, that is a spider warren. Spider lair, spider den. I really don't want to fight this guy right now. I see a carrot up there and some more flint. But it is time to build a campfire. So the second tab over here is light. And it takes three grass and two logs to make a campfire. So we're going to go ahead and build it. Perfect timing as we just converted to night. And here I'll kind of risk it and see what happens. Once you get outside of your, of your fading campfire... Uh, I should see some... Yeah, you hear some hissing. Oh, 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 alright, well, there's an example for you. Um, <laughs> I just got hit by whatever it is, the grim or the gruel or whatever it is out there. Okay, so it's nighttime. Um, there's really not much to do at nighttime other than just kind of pass it by, especially not in the beginning. Because uh, I don't really have any infrastructure or anything set up. Um, and you don't have to worry too much about restocking your campfire. The, um, the logs will diminish over time. Uh, but they should be uh, more than uh, strong enough or have enough fuel in them to survive the night. Uh, I guess what I can do, this is what I should be doing. I'm already messing up. We're going to grab our berries and start cooking them over the fire. So we're gonna have roasted berries. We'll also roast our carrots. All right. And let's eat. Uh, now the, the food recipes are pretty complicated. Um, you can see my hunger's gone up quite a bit, and then you can see that if I eat another berry, my health goes up a little bit. Um, but it's kind of hard to know what does what, you know, what's going to get you better health. And eventually, um, in a few days on here, um, we'll get a crock pot and we'll start to cook some more complex recipes that are more nutritionally beneficial for us. Okay, I'm glad I found a rock. That's excellent. Um, or a boulder, I should say. Once you find the boulder, that means you can make a pick. And once you have some rocks, and it also drops some other stuff, some niter, I believe that's how it would be said. Um, but I have no idea what it does. It drops flint and rocks and niter, and sometimes gold. And we use the rocks to make... Uh, a fire pit, uh, because if I walk over to the left or to the right again, you'll see that the campfire we had is gone. Uh, so it's like kind of a one-use thing. Uh, once we have a few rocks on us, we'll be able to make a fire pit, and uh, that'll be a more permanent. It'll stay there, and we can just keep reloading it with fuel. So it's kind of like the beginning, the start point of having a base to go to. And we're already filling up our inventory down here. Um, I will make a backpack at some point just to have a little bit more room. The uh, problem is, is that if I get in a fight, the backpack takes up potentially the space or the slot for any kind of armor that I might make. So uh, this is interesting. I've actually never seen a, a grassland this big. And you see we're kind of following the road down here. The roads, I think, uh, basically connect the two, or I mean, are, are kind of a general path between larger island worlds. I mean, they used to be, um, it used to be like 
you'd be in a section of, of land, and then you'd find kind of the exit of it, and it would be this long platform that would lead to another kind of world island. But um, nowadays, in this, this updated thing, they're all much more connected. Um, it's a little bit more loose as far as how the borders go. So really, um, you know, I can't decide. I, I don't know if I want to, you know, appease the new people uh, that haven't seen Don't Starve and kind of want to see everything that happens. Or, you know, if, if there's some people that have played the game that are going to watch this. And this is all old hat to them. I mean, this is... You know, whenever you start out a new game, kind of like this, kind of like Minecraft as well, um, everybody's going to be doing essentially the exact same thing at the beginning of the game. Um, Ooh, some manure. That is, this is the first time I've ever found manure. And that is a beefalo over there. I hope they're not aggressive. I don't think they are. Yeah, no, they don't seem to be aggressive. So this is great. Um, this is the first time I've ever found this. Uh, this means that I'll actually be able to make farms and plant seeds. Uh, so that is very exciting for me. Uh, this is a great, a great find. A bunch of beefalo. Oh! I, I attracted his attention. I just got too close to him, I think. I hope they all just don't decide to charge me at some point. That would be that would be tragic. Okay, we're pushing along here. Aha! Pig house! Interesting. So I can feed the pig, and he'll do something for me. I, I think they fight for me, maybe. Um, whoa. Whoa. Okay, now I've never seen the, the, the pig king. Ha! Is good people. I don't know, I, I can't remember this guy's name, actually. I'm, I'm so bad at names. But, um, I don't know, the way his mustache looks and his prominent lower chin, I, I want to say that he's of, uh, you know, a uh, Eastern European or Belarusian kind of heritage. But, uh, I can't be sure. I... I just want to give him a Boris kind of uh, accent, so no offense, anybody. Just jokes. So let's see. Let, let's look at what we got. We got 11 logs. We're good on saplings for now. Uh -huh. Well, this is just bountiful. Um, this is a plugged sinkhole, so if I pop this open, it opens up the area. It opens up a cave, and a cave is like an entirely new world to explore. It's a, it generates its own new world. So we're, we're going to explore that later in another episode. Uh, not today, because I will probably die down there, and that's it. You know, I can't stress that enough. It, it, the biggest thing you can do, or the easiest thing you can do to mess up in this game... Whoa! That is a patch of carrots right there. Um... Never seen that. So this is awesome. I mean, I've already seen like three or four things that I've never seen in this game before. Um, and the, the playthrough I had yesterday, I saw three or four things I had never seen before. So this is this is inspiring. Uh, so this is a really interesting area. we got the beefalo herd. we got the pig king. We've got some rocks up there. I'm sure there will be, if I keep exploring this little uh, roundabout here, this kind of circle that I'm making, I'm sure I'm going to find a kind of a rock quarry area. A uh, bunch of rabbit holes, so I'll be able to set traps. Uh, I think it's going to work out well. But I was saying something right before I went on that tangent, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Uh, you'll find I'm bad like that. I, I get on a tangent, and I will not remember what I was just talking about where I was making a point. Um... But yeah, for, the, for this episode, we will definitely be, um, uh, or I mean, the, the next couple episodes, uh, I, I might do some work off camera, you know, some just basic resource gathering, but when we do something cool or find something cool, I'll pop it back on, that kind of thing. But it, oop, it is time to build a fire. Alright. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at the beef flow. Sleeping in a herd. Okay, so let's cook our food. Uh, I think that cooked food is generally better than non-cooked food for, 
for every food type. I'm, I'm not sure about that, but I think that's the case. Whoops. I ate one. And then I dropped them. Alright. Yeah, definitely gonna need the crock pot soon. Um, because I did already take that huge hit to my health, which is no good. That was kind of a, <laughs> that was a mistake, but it's all, all for the viewers, I guess. All for the viewers. So we're all cooked up. Uh, you can see this is a new thing for me as well. Um, see how the carrots look to be mostly full with this little strip of transparency or, or um, you know, what, whatever the color is, uh, tan, khaki behind them and then you see the berries have a much bigger gap that is their meter of freshness and after they get about halfway they go stale and I think some things that go stale can hurt you um, they're actually spoiled and some things that go stale just aren't as effective so I'm gonna try to eat the berries all first um, just to uh, use them up before I started using the carrots uh, and I also think that the cooked varieties last longer than the raw, but that might be wrong. It's, it's hard to say. So let's see. We're about probably 25, 30 minutes in here, or at least I think I am. I, I didn't really look at the clock uh, before I started, so I don't want to make too long of a first episode. Uh, I wouldn't mind finding something else. Let's see if we can find something else in the next couple minutes. Oh, looks like we're going to find a dead end. Hey, I was right. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to call that a day. It's day three. Uh, just start out in the morning. And next time, we're going to make some farms. We're going to do some traps. We're going to get some walls going on, a fire pit, science machine, crock pot. It's all going to happen. So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. See, tell me what you think. Tell me what I should do. Uh, tell me if I did anything wrong. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.